everyone. My name is Sila Kim and I'm currently a senior in high school and I'm serving Christ Covenant Church of California. I'm the presider for this month's Remnant Day. Now we will watch the 237 presentation on the Czech Republic. The economy of Czech Republic is a developed, export-oriented social market based in services, manufacturing, and innovation. The Czech Republic participates in the European single market, therefore it is part of the economy of the European Union. The Czech Republic uses their own currency, the Czech Koruna, instead of the common euro that is found across Europe. Their current GDP is $412 billion and they are at a 20% risk of poverty or social exclusion. They are also one of the most flourishing countries in Europe. The Czechs make up roughly two-thirds of the population. Inside that majority, the Moravians consider themselves to be a distinct group. There was a small Slavic minority from the Czechoslovakian federal period. An even smaller Polish population exists in northeastern Moravia, and some Germans still live in northwestern Bohemia. The territory of the Czech Republic traditionally has been between the German and Slav lands and Czech cultural traditions are a mixture of both. Czechs celebrate the seven public holidays along with some Christian ones. The architecture of the Czech Republic is rich and varied. Czechs enjoy sports and outdoor activities such as winter sports and golfing. Students in the Czech Republic are required to begin their education at age six and attend basic school for a minimum of nine years. Also, the Czech Republic has a renowned reputation for high-quality education and provides opportunities, especially in the field of industry. 100 years prior to Martin Luther's Reformation, Jan Hus was killed by burning due to fighting for evangelism movement. He, in advance, translated the Bible into Czech and gave 3,000 plus lectures. In memorial, his death was commemorated as a Czech holiday on July 6. Although this evangelist's work and legacy is still celebrated, many forgot the true meaning of the gospel and went away from Christianity. Now, in 2021, the majority of Czech Republic reflects their beliefs of irreligion by being an atheist, agonistic, or other irreligious life stances. While 30% remain undeclared and 9.6% stay as Believers without religion, the citizens of Czech Republic lost the gospel and are living a life with no religion. The census map above reflects the decline in Christianity as darker colors reflect the density of Christian population. These escalations are shown more effectively over the graph. As the percentage for no religion started out with 7.2% in 1921, 47.8% of people live with no religion now in Czech Republic. Contrasting from this, from having 91% Christians in the 1920s, the percent rate of Christian population in Czech Republic had decreased into 11.7% as of 2021. According to Assistant Pastor Eun Kim, the decay of Christian population in Czech may be affected because the government enforced religious taxes to Christians, which led more people to leave and also because of the shallow level of faith Christians had. She said that the people of Czech don't understand the trying God and have bad spiritual states. She also noted that many people left Christianity and became atheists because the people were getting tired of the continuous religious war and Marxism that appealed from Soviet Union were more attractive to them. To prevent Czech from completely losing hold of the gospel, missionary John Kim and his family were commissioned to Czech. Many small Tarakbang evangelism studies with young adults, elementary students, and teens with drug issues, as well as Ukrainian refugees, are virtually taking places along with the missions of finding the evangelists and training them. The missionaries and assistant pastors hope for God's time schedule for the East Europe in-person gathering remnant meet. The prayer topics for Czech Republic are for ministers in Czech to be starting an evangelism movement throughout whole Europe through biblical evangelism, to be able to support the children of local ministers spiritually, for a community of remnants, church officers, and business people to be built upon Czech. In this spiritually corrupted, culturally consumed age, let the word movement be brought upon the field as well as Holy Spirit work upon Czech. And in the field that is intensely suffering with depression, may they be able to accurately understand and enjoy the gospel. 
And let the 70 disciples, 70 regions, and 70 tribes movement take place for them to find evangelists and disciples, starting from Czech Republic and to the whole Eastern Europe. And lastly, for the five powers to be upon the missionaries, and God give them blessing of commissioned missionaries, as they are the only ones in the Eastern Europe. At this time, we will have a time of prayer holding on to the topics given by the missionaries in the Czech Republic.